Alright. So what was um, what was that like for you? First time practicing, first time delivering activities and learning to breathe. It was nice. It was good. I think um, you know, kind of getting familiar with the words and kind of how to transition some of the thoughts to make sure that everybody is really understanding it just takes some practice. But yeah. um, I feel like the the tools here are very helpful for <coughs> where you need to go as far as like kind of what to say and how to get there. So it's nicely laid out. Mm -hmm. A little bit of practice will you'll gain some comfort with just the fluidity of it. Other thoughts, other experiences? How about let me let me shift that from um, how did the manual work to how did it feel <laughs> to you doing it? I think you said it was fine, it was okay. Yeah. Other, other um, reflections on your experience of delivering it? Something that my group brought up that I think is really helpful and something that's good to think about is like being okay with silence and that like giving them a moment to really sit and like really think about what you're saying. Because I feel like anytime I facilitate anything, I always want to like ask follow-up questions like immediately when mm -hmm. there is that silence. I thought that was a really good thing to think about. Mm -hmm. That's a really nice point. And how much time is the right amount of time? Right. What do you think? What what makes sense to you? I would say like at least thirty seconds. So like process, maybe maybe even a minute, but maybe seeing what's natural to the group. What do you all think? I like that natural aspect. It's kind of hard to put a certain amount of time on it until you're actually really there with the kids and feeling out what feels good for that uh, given moment. So what what is it like for you all to be there in the silence? Is that a hard thing for you? No. I say no. Yeah. You say no. She says yes. Yeah, someone just makes me uncomfortable sometimes, but yeah. yeah. And so, um, so part of that will. Did you deliver one of these? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So part of that will be your experience. Um, one of the things I think that's helpful to to reframe that is you you know where this is going. You've done this before. This is the first time they're experiencing this, the students are experiencing this. So they have to process that information in a way that you've already processed it. So your mind is racing ahead to what you need to do and being really mindful about that, your own experience, where your mind is and where their minds might be will help you kind of move towards that comfort with silence and know that they're just thinking about what they're going to say to you. So that's a nice point. How was it for the two of you? The two of you delivered these. So what was that experience like for you, Reagan? Um, it was good. Um, I got nervous when I didn't have like all the words in front of me. Um, because like the words were somewhere else already writing on the board. Um, and so just going with the flow, I wanted to make sure that I still covered all the questions. Um, but I think for the most part, like we covered the essence of what we were trying to do. Um, it helped like the natural flow of it. Um, yeah. So a little anxiety as you, as, as you didn't have our, the manual mm -hmm. there with you. Um, and that's a natural thing. The manual is there to help you along. You might not have it, but you're able to know the broad concepts and understand why you're doing what you're doing. This is why we went through the foundations course last uh, yesterday, <laughs> last week. Last week. <laughs> when was that? <laughs> um, and so that's that's great. I also had a little anxiety, like getting started. Transitioning to the 
the second activity. Um, but it was also like fun watching you guys um, engage with each other. Like, well, I was just <laughs> giving you a couple minutes to work, and then I. This isn't exactly the most mindful of thinking about the future, but I am excited for this program about developing a little bit more comfort and then just hopefully being able to draw those things out of your own the personal events. Yeah, yeah. So I'm excited too. So, did any of you um, think about what it would be like implementing this with um, teams? We had that kind of discussion. I mean, we're obviously not teens. Mm -hmm. would it, do you think it would be different in some way? Well, I actually asked the question after my session ended the first time. Of will these activities and questions really elicit kind of the definition we were looking for for mindfulness? Like, will teens jump to that conclusion? Because it was very easy for us to kind of say, you know, oh, I was present. Oh, I was, you know, being uh, curious. Um, but it sounds like. Yeah, for the most part, a lot of the way that it's set up does even lead the teams to kind of those thoughts. It's designed in a nice way to lead them along. You may have to pull them on occasion mm -hmm. um, or push them a little bit harder, mm -hmm. um, but but generally they they get there. But they didn't. They will not have the foundations course the day before <laughs> to lead into this. So uh, so it is a little bit different. It's a novel experience for them but it is nicely laid out for them. I think it feels surprisingly natural when you get some actual teens in the room, just like, wow, okay, this actually feels um, really good and organic, like Richardson, yeah. yeah great. What else about your, your experiences? Were there challenging things about it? Um, I left. I let out a brief laugh because the clock stopped ticking to keep track of the time. <laughs> so I was like, of course. <laughs> and I started counting in my head. Yeah, that, so oh. it's it's good it's good to um, to have access to to uh, some sort of timekeeping mm -hmm. device. That cl that clock does stop sometimes. Sometimes it goes backwards. Yeah. Too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Any, any questions that came up for you as you were delivering it, or as you reflect on your delivering it? Either question, specific to the activities or general. Yeah, so for the first one with the sound, when we're listening, um, when we're working with teams, should we really be, like, should we monitor the time really closely or should we kind of like watch them to make sure it's like should we do like a minute and a half versus two minutes to kind of see where they're at or yeah i think there's flexibility in that depending on how um how the group is if they're if they're obviously getting restless you know you might want to bring them back sooner uh and and you know more towards the, the minute minute and a half rather than Keeping it, keeping it on. Are we more like, do we want them to kind of sit with the restless, or do we want to kind of help um, move the lesson forward? I think in that in that instance, it's not um, the the objective is not necessarily to have them sit with restlessness. Okay. Okay. The the I think keying in on what the objective of uh, the activity is is going to be key to how you're going to judge whether you need to move it along or, or not. So there will be times when somebody, uh, when you're sitting, when you're doing um, body scan and they're getting a little bit restless, that's actually a good oppor opportunity to, um, you, don't, you don't want to cut it short in those opportunities. But you can use that observation in, uh, in the discussion. You know, I noticed that some of you were getting a little restless in the, in the body scan. And it's sometimes really hard to, to uh, lie still and really focus in for that amount of time. That's OK. We're going to have that. And then we can focus back in. So you can do that. 
rather than, okay, I notice you're getting restless in the body scan, so I'm gonna stop it and we're gonna move forward. Yeah. So use that judgment of understanding what the task is. I think that we haven't, at this point, given them any tools for how to deal with that restlessness, and not that they are incapable of doing it, but that even in the directions for the body scan, there are some explicit, like when your mind wanders, bring it back to the breath, like that there, there's some structure and guidance around how to deal with that restlessness. So that, that um, again, it's really key to the objectives so they can focus on those. Um, <clears throat> way in the beginning, in the introduction, not relevant to what we did, um, but I thought it was interesting how um, they want you to start by explaining E, like the end of it, and that, is that just to give like the goal of the word? Yeah, so it's kind of the 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 big picture is empowerment, and um, and we we start there in in part to to build towards that and to kind of pull it all, pull it all together. So yeah, maybe I didn't make that. Um, entirely clear, but uh, the idea is we're going to teach you skills to gain the inner edge to uh, that sense of uh, empowerment. And would you also hang up the B because we're doing the B lesson or no? Yes, <laughs> we would. <laughs> and I didn't. <laughs> but yes. I think about the E, one thing that's important to remember is that, like, you all clearly to some extent have like bought into mindfulness mm -hmm. and to some extent teams show up like they, they know some about this and we talked yesterday about some of the foundational background stuff that's good for students mm -hmm. um, but they are not necessarily going to be convinced that listening to their breathing or body is good mindfulness reflections is good and so by starting with real like this end goal to remind them that like maybe you're not as interested in this specifically but you're probably interested in being empowered to deal with your life better. And so like that that's part of the reason it makes sense to Yeah. I can't believe you didn't see that. Everyone else saw it. <laughs> and there I'm not as facile with these posters, but there's also a poster here on my phone and so we usually put that up after the first week. Like, let them come to that, or even later in the first one, but like, let them come to that in um, mindfulness and mindful listening, and then put it up later. Yeah. So it's not until they've kind of created it. Yeah, I was thinking about it when we did this, right? And how can we then use that poster? Other thoughts, other questions, other shared experiences? Okay. So we're ready to take a break. Um, we're scheduled for a break till 10.55. Let's move that up to 11, I think. So we'll, we'll reconvene at 11.